Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the Bros of DK. I'm Leslie, as you know, and we're gonna go on another adventure today. But it's not just an ordinary one. I'm gonna attempt a place that I've tried for about three times now, and every single time there was something. Or the neighbor was outside looking at the place, or it was, yeah, closed up for some reason, or it just didn't, yeah, work out, and we were not able to film the place. So, third, four time actually, four time luck time, I think, or four time best time, or how do you say that? But I really hope that uh, this time I'm able to uh, go inside of the place and film this place because it's a fantastic manner. French manner. You're gonna see it in a minute, but yeah, let's pack up my gear and uh, today's a nice glass of tea to start off the day. William also just woke up. We're gonna explore together today, so I'm excited for that again. Let's go. Okay, everybody, this is also exploring. We just put in the route in the car and you can see it's a three hour drive and 300 kilometers. This is like a standard route that we have to drive when we go to abandoned places. <laughs> William is pretty cold. <laughs> it's frozen air. It's minus three. So let's heat up the car and let's go. So we just arrived at the location, we're now walking towards it through the back and it's a pretty spectacular place. I've been here a few times before and I like I told you in the morning, it didn't get in. But now hopefully we can. As you can see, the first things we see are remains of the car dealership. It's always looking like how we should get in. William thinks that way is the way to get in. These cars have been rusting here for decennias. I remember this one, this was pretty difficult uh, to get over. Now cracking. I'm gonna do this very carefully. Let's go. We can, we can already see the cages where the dogs used to live. Let's go further. In this episode, we dive deep into the intriguing story of a loving French couple named Pascal and Patricia. They both were extremely passionate people and had an enormous drive to be successful in life. Mr. Pascal achieved his success as a car mechanic and salesman and at the latter part of his life he switched to exclusively dealing in Alzheimer's. But his partner Patricia on the other hand had a very different passion. She used to breed and compete with Spitz dogs. First off, this was just a passion and a hobby, but later on this became a job and she was very successful at it. From 
competitions in Paris, London and even New York, she used to travel all over the world to compete and at one point had more than 30 spit stocks. Throughout her house we can see her achievements, all her medals and trophies that she won over the years. Together they had a loving family with a few children and lived in a quiet French town where nothing much happened. Today we will dive deep into the remains of their kingdom and show you what's left of their dreams. Let's go on an eventful exploration. So, welcome inside. We have made it in here and to be honest, this is one of the most unique places that we're ever going to see on this channel. This has so much depth, so much history and is a true French time capsule. I can't wait to show you the house of Patricia and Pascal. And already behind me, you can see all the trophies that uh, Mrs. Patricia won over the years with the beautiful dogs, the spitz dogs that she bred throughout her life. It's just wonderful to see. Club Francis, Du Spitz, that's from Spitzdog, Longchamp, she's a longtime champion from 1993. Even before I was born, she was a champion. It's wonderful to see that she had all these display cabinets and she completely filled them with all the trophies that she won over her lifetime. I truly adore somebody with passion in their life. One year later, 1994, she won this trophy. And there are numerous trophies more in this cabinet to show off a wonderful emblem from 1995. Wow, amazing to see. Well, let's go on and explore this entire place for you all to see, so let's go. But before I'm gonna go in depth on the room that I just was in with all the trophies, I first want to show you the remainder of the house. They're wonderful, fully furnished, where everything, all the memories and artifacts are left behind. The first room that we are standing in is, to my opinion, quite a mess. I don't know what happened in here, but we can look through it and see if we can find some things that might be of interest. I always want to show off the wallpaper as well, because these are always very, very beautiful in French manners. You can see that they also like to play piano and maybe also some other instruments that we uh, might encounter throughout this place. Wow, this place is such a mess. All the medicine, I think they got to a pretty old age and passed away. And of course, Patricia, her beloved dog books that she would buy and read. Presumably, this wonderful sofa over here. Look how this place is decaying. The roof is coming down. This used to be, these are books. These are, I think, phone books or something. Oh no, they are books to display a wallpaper, as you can see. These are samples of wallpaper. This chair just came through the roof and landed on top of the door over here. Wow, that's just crazy. Okay, let's try to go to that room over there first. Let's go in there. We've got a calendar here. It says 1995 on there. And they wrote so many things down on there. As you can see. Oh my God, this is a true time capsule room. Oh, look at the spider web, 
that has been built over the years. And nobody has been in this place. <laughs> this one is just mesmerizing. I've never seen a spider web like that before. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. I literally got scared when I saw this dog in the corner of my eye. This might be her most beloved dog that presumably passed away. She made it into a taxidermy dog. Wow. I've never seen something like that before. Two wonderful pictures of two men on the wall here. I don't know who these people were. They might be important to the family. Oh, this room is just mesmerizing. A little statue on top of the fireplace here. A lady praying. Now we got even more trophies of Mrs. Patricia herself. She completely stacked her whole house with trophies. Wonderful fireplace to the side. Now we have a cabinet. There are some glasses still in there, as you can see, but it's not possible to open it anymore because the wood worms, they have completely worked their way into it. And I think it will fall apart when I try to open it. Then we have an other dog up here. And this also seems to be like, it used to be a real dog. Maybe one of her favorite dogs. Wow. Lots of books on here as well. Let's go through. It's just crazy to see this all. Glasses. <laughs> right above my head. Don't know if you can see it clearly, but we have even more spider webs covering everything in this house. They tell you that this is a time capsule, that nobody has entered into this place for a very long time. Bottles still on the table. Now we have this little basket completely filled with gun shells, shotgun shells. A handwritten note to the side from 1921. I don't know exactly what it says. No, that's a bit too difficult for me to read. Wow. Just completely crazy. One more thing to the side here is this rack completely filled with food, preserved food. And I see the last dates on here are from the year 2004. Okay, that's a cool artifact to know. 2004, 17 years ago. That might be a good date for this place. And I also forgot to point out this violin case. That's unfortunately empty. No violin inside of there anymore. Let's now try to make our way over here without falling. Whoa, this is just crazy. Have a look at this. That's what decay does to a place. We have to be really careful walking over there, William. You can see there's one beam and I think underneath there's just like the basement or something. Yeah, that leads directly into the basement. So we have to be a bit careful. And then, oh my God. And then we have to share over here where we have to squeeze underneath to go to, to the next room. Wow, there's a stairway. Where is this gonna lead us? Even more jams and other types of food here on the floor. 
crazy. They placed like a little curtain here to separate off this space. I think we are coming into the bedrooms. <laughs> Even more holes on the floor. Wow. It's just wonderful. Let's wander into these bedrooms. And let's see what's left behind in here. What I can assume from this bedroom is that lots of children used to have lived in this place. One bed over here, another one over there, and a third one over here. And this looks like a little bit bigger bed. So three children used to sleep in this room alone. Wow. A mesmerizing vanity. One like I've never seen it before. With these foldable mirrors to the side, and the main mirror here in the middle. These look like they were empty. You don't see these vanities anymore these days. Whenever I go to the house today, most houses that I go to, people don't have vanities anymore. And I think they are such a wonderful piece of furniture to my opinion. I want to know in the comment section, does anyone still have a vanity at home? And do you use it regularly? That's my question of the day. Because I love these pieces of furniture. Here we have a chair to the side. An upholstery chair. Beautiful design work on there. Probably ancient. Love how it looks. The vines are growing inside. The ivy is growing inside. And here we can have a look at that backyard where the cars are stored of Mr. Pascal. Wow, it's just crazy to see. <sighs> Let's go back into the hallway. I just love wandering through these places, researching the history that's left behind in here. I've done this lots of times, like most of you know. I already made more than 250 videos about abandoned places around the world. But it doesn't bore me at all. I love doing this, seeing how these people lived. And this room is another example of that. Uh, I can see the people living here, the boy or the girl sleeping there, listening to music. And you can also assume things from looking at this room. You can see over here, we have this puzzle on the wall. And this says Hotel Weisses Rossi. That's a German name. And this is probably a ski resort. And next to that puzzle, we can see ski boots. So we can assume that the person that slept in this room was a big fan of skiing. Otherwise, he wouldn't put this up. Uh, look just at the furniture that she or he had in this room. A wonderful, still made bed. Love this wardrobe as well. Doesn't open anymore and not gonna do that. Look how the mirror is cracking up. Now we have this lovely record player on this desk. What was she reading the last time? It's a book, it seems to be about history. Le Calin, Paris. I don't know exactly what this book was meant for. Oh. It's a book about animals, horses, towns. Wow. The wallpaper peeling over this picture is also very nice. I can also give you a look. There's a record player with a built in speaker. <laughs> That's wonderful. And there's even another bed in this room that I didn't notice yet. So people, two people used to sleep in this place. Oh. Comic books. An oil lamp as well there. Wow. 
There's even a bed here in the hallway. Oh, look at this. This is very cute. This is a spinning wheel lamp. There used to be a bulb on here. And yeah, it's a very cool piece. I, should, I had to point it out. A very tight squeeze here. And that leads us to all the pictures that are left here on the bed. Maybe of vacations, maybe of their home. Look at this. Can I bring it in focus? Like an old car. The man, Pascal, was of course a very big fan of old vintage cars. See, here's another picture. This might have been him, together with one of those cars. A wonderful house. Amazing to see this all. And now we enter into the last room upstairs here. But the house is not done yet, don't get me wrong. We have much more things to explore. But this one is quite neat actually. Still in a pristine condition. See the bed over here. Fabulous wooden bed. It's pretty springy still. Oh, and I love the cushions that are on these beds. <laughs> it's like a big sausage. That's where the people used to sleep on. Wonderful. Wallpaper just peeling off. Got like a little statue of a poodle here to the side. On what I presume is sort of a made up vanity. And <laughs> look at this telephone. Have you? This is such an old school vintage telephone. I love how you would dial up the number. Some of you that watch this video might have done it like that in the past, but to me, I've never even dialed a number using this kind of mechanism. I think it's pretty fascinating. What an amazing mirror. Wow, the gold accents on it. Just incredible. Some other artifacts. Oh, and Proticia even had like a trophy in this wardrobe. Wow. And even more trophies here on the ground of her wonderful achievements throughout life. And this one seems to be filled up with things. Wow. Books and letters. Now, this gets my interest. This little book over here, let's take it out. Let's place it over here. Looks like it's a coin collection book. Oh, there's nothing in there anymore. I thought I would find a coin collection or something like that, but I don't. It's like a little book where I would keep like little like records. You can see it's from 1966, 1967. It's like an accountancy book. Formation du bureau, so it's from the bureau. Wow. It's very neat handwriting, I must say. Wonderful to see. I'm gonna place it back neatly here in the wardrobe. Okay. And one more thing I want to point out before I go down is this wallpaper in this room. We have seen it before, in an abandoned castle, I assume, but I don't know which one it was. If I find that video, I will link it up here and you can look at the wallpaper that is exactly the same as this one. Wow, I love and adore this wallpaper. So we are back downstairs right now and we're entering back into the room that we first started the video off. 
So yeah, I want to go a little bit more in depth on this room, just a little. First of all, let me point out some things because we've not seen it in the house before, but it has like these beams in there and the white design, the white with the beams. That's, that's German, but also French style, but not from this region. And yeah, they, they built their house in a very special way. I really like that. They were special people with passion in life. Some glasses and another award down here. And this one seems very strange. Let me show you that side as well. Wonderful awards all displayed here. There are even more awards that she was just not able to put up on a wall or display that she just had to put in boxes. That's, that's how good she was at breeding dogs. We're gonna see it in a minute outside. All the dog cages of her are still left there. It's wonderful to see. A wall clock over here. Not 1879. It's probably not that old. Wow. Fascinating. Oh, over here we have a calendar of 2012. That's interesting. So it's not abandoned for that long actually then. Okay. One more look at all the trophies that are on display here off the fireplace. Beautifully designed fireplace as well, as you can see. Wow. They even did their <laughs> laundry next to all the trophies. <laughs> That's how used they were to it. Just do the laundry next to the, the trophies, it doesn't matter. And we're gonna come into the entrance hall of the house. And they also held some birds over here. Oh, this was the kitchen actually. Wow. Not really very interesting kitchen, but still pretty neat to see. They had lots of birds as well. Animal lovers. Those are mostly good people. And their bathroom is over here as well. And I also saw a stairway over here that's gonna lead us upstairs. I've not let, took a, taken a look up there, so I'm really curious to see what's up there. <laughs> Again, lots of junk. I'm gonna have to squeeze myself through here. Where they're preparing for war or something like that. There's so much prepared food all throughout this house. It's just insane. Look at this. I don't even know what it is, but beans I can see over here and sh mushrooms and I don't even want to know it, but ooh, that looks actually a bit disgusting. We're coming here upstairs. What's this room? That's not that much. Oh my God, I've got a bedroom to this side. Oh, wow. What a wonderful bedroom. Oh, oh wow. I must say, this is one of the best I've seen yet. Just because it has this German, French style design of the walls. And this beautiful bed in the middle, still made after all those years. And a picture, maybe of a grandfather above the bed. Wow. It's just wonderful to see. There's a big stack of papers over here. 2nd of January, 1994. 23rd of January, probably 1994. These were magazines that were produced in that time. Wow, still bound. I'm gonna leave them like that. I'm not gonna open that or anything. That's history that we need to leave behind. I'm already lucky that I can see and explore it. She even kept trophies next to her bed. 
to remind her how good she was at breeding dogs. These you see also lots of times coming back in abandoned places. String art, I think you would call it. Even more trophies and artifacts all dispersed throughout this bedroom. Bove, it says on this one. Bove. A wonderful Remington typewriter. Wow. A letter. Look at this camera over here. Wow. Would use film roll. Now we have a Singer sewing machine. One of my favorite sewing machines to see left behind. And then they had a fireplace inside of this room, as you can see. Amazing. Some food stored up here. Again, I want to look at this bed. I just adore this bed. <laughs> it gets me every time, <laughs> sorry. Oh, the beauty of these places. Where and with what hobby or what you do in life, can you see something like we are doing together here, like I'm doing right now? Exploring is something unique and yeah, it fills you, it brings, my, it brings me great joy, I, I should say. I can't tell it enough. I want to walk up here. I think this is like a little storage area. But I have to be careful because of course the floor is not that stable anymore. But there are lots and lots of artifacts stored up here. Boxes back there. I like this drawer. I'm scared to walk up here. I'm just gonna do it. A little book rack. Completely filled with books. Now we have the stove. Wow. I love how these houses are made as well. With wooden beams. The roof not insulated. And there's the hole that I just showed you from downstairs, and now you can see it from up here. Just crazy. Okay, I, I literally just passed it, but <laughs> look at this. It's like a dollhouse, like a version of a dollhouse made from a French place. Wow. This is for kids to play with, I think. This could also be a mock-up for maybe a kitchen design. I think it's more for kids to play with. Like, f do these function? No, they don't function. But whoa, look at that. Never seen something like that before. Side of the place and I'm gonna show you where their spit stocks used to live. You can see over here these were the cages where the dogs would be bred in. All still left here. Wow. Completely rusted away as you can see. And over here to this side we've got another cage where one of those dogs used to live in lots of stuff for animals all throughout this place. Wow, this is so overgrown and so much things in this backyard. It's just crazy to walk even through here. Oh, I have to be careful. As you can see, coming to other sections of the house right now. More cages for animals, all left here. Wow. 
These are for birds. So they also housed a lot of birds in this place. And over here we can see this was the door that we were just standing in front of. As you can see inside is the kitchen. Uh, that's pretty difficult to see, but we can see the bird houses through here. And William is also here in the backyard. Let's look at more things here in the backyard. As you can see, there are lots and lots of dog houses all throughout this place. Nobody has been here for a very long time. More of those dog houses. Wow. Now we enter through the gate into the remainder of the backyard. Where even more dogs would be housed. <laughs> it's just incredible to see. I, I assume back in the day, like 20, 30 dogs would still be in this place. Wow, I now came to a part of the backyard where Pascal stored all his vintage cars and presumably also the cars that he didn't need anymore because he made some sort of a car graveyard from this backyard. <laughs> it's just crazy to see the completely overgrown cars, the moss just taking them over. <sighs> Let's look inside of one of those. There's just an engine block inside of this car. Oh my God, old Renaults. And these are not like really special cars. The special cars he probably didn't keep here. They would be stored in the garage. Renault, even the license plate is still on there. They are here for more than nine years that the place is abandoned. Definitely. This was the yellow car that we just came over, the yellow Renault. Wow. I'll just climb up here for a second. Give you an overview. This whole backyard is completely filled with hundreds and hundreds of cars, all stored here by Mr. himself. It's time to go now. What did you think about the place? It was really, really nice. Yeah, it was very fascinating to see all this left behind. We're gonna go now go throughout, out through the front. There are also a lot of abandoned cars in the front, which I want to show you. But uh, yeah, let's just walk there. And we'll slowly end off this wonderful video. Oh, there's like this bus left behind. Wonderful camper bus, I think. I think it was some sort of a mobile home where he stored lots of things inside. <laughs> Have a runny nose. A runny nose. Yes. <laughs> Very cold, yeah. And here we can get a glimpse of the house itself. Wonderful masterpiece. And all the cars in front of the house here. That's just crazy to see. These are a bit more special cars than the ones that we saw back there. No, no, really not more special. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Wow. I'm really happy that finally after four times we were able to explore this place and 
yeah, I'm really happy that I can check it off my list and that I can show it to you all. So I want to thank you all for watching this week's video. Please check out William as well. He needs a big shout out because I lost my microphone and he retrieved it. So his link will be in the description. And with that all said, guys, love you very much. And I will see you next week in another epic adventure. Bye bye. Thank <laughs> you.